Okay guys, let's go ahead and do a two sample hypothesis test uh, where we're going to use dependent samples and we're going to use matched pairs testing. All right, so let's take a look at the scenario. It says that Greg works for a drug company wanting to market a new type of sunscreen. Uh, he wants to test at the alpha level of 0.5 to determine if the amount of damage that is sustained to the skin after four hours in the sun is less than one would get if they did not use any UV protection. So he randomly selected individuals from the beach that had put sunscreen on half of their arm and left the other half without sunscreen. After four hours, they measured the amount of damage from the sun. Okay, so real quick, uh, before we even do anything, we can kind of set up our different scenarios. So the first thing that we want to look at is we want to look at our data type. And we know that our data type is numerical. We're looking at the damage level, and if we go ahead and open up our Excel file, let me open it up real quick, we'll see that the values that, that we get for the amount of damage are numerical. And here they are. So we've got the participant, one through, we've got like 39. And here is the damage with sunscreen and the damage without sunscreen, and we see how they're different. I'm gonna add in one more column here, and I'm gonna say difference, and this is going to be how the difference between the sunscreen versus without sunscreen. So I'm just going to do equals with sunscreen minus without sunscreen. And I should get minuses because I'm hoping what I think, what I hypothesize is that the damage with sunscreen is less than the damage without sunscreen. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to save that real quick. And let's kind of go back to our problem. Okay, so we've got numerical. Let's go ahead and set up our hypotheses. Okay, now we could consider this as a one-tail test, or we can consider it, or sorry, not a one-tail, sorry. We can consider this as a one-sample test or a two-sample test, and I'll show you how we can do both, but our hypotheses are actually are pretty similar. So we're going to put um, H naught, and we're going to say mu, and I can't do a subscript right here, but mu sub D, or the difference, the differences, or the mean difference is what we're looking at, the mean difference. Okay, and we're going to say the baseline is zero. The null hypothesis is that there is no difference between having the sunscreen on or um, not having the sunscreen on. There's no difference between the amount of damage that you'll get. But the researcher, he thinks that mu underscore d is going to be less than zero. He thinks that the amount of damage that you get if you're wearing the sunscreen is going to be less then that is if you had the sunscreen on. Okay, and then we can put in our alpha value and he said just a standard 0 0.05. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at Prezi real quick. Let's look at our roadmap and let's see where it's going to take us. Okay, so first question, what am I testing? We're dealing with numerical data. Next question, how many? We're dealing with two samples, right? We're testing with sunscreen and without sunscreen. Okay, I'll show you how we could also consider this as one in just a second, but let's consider it as two first. And the next one, okay, is N1 and N2 greater than 30? Well, if we looked at it, we saw that um, that they were at 39, so we're good. It didn't say anything about normal, but by the central limit theorem, we're okay. And then the question is, is this independent samples or is this matched pairs? And this is basically asking, is there some link between these two groups? And the answer is yes. And we know that because of how the word problem was set up. Let's look at this again. So it talked about how he randomly selected individuals from the beach and had them put sunscreen on half of the arm. And then after four hours, they measured the amount of damage from the sun on both sides of their arm, on the sunscreen side and the non-sunscreen side. So there's a link between those. So one person is actually getting measured twice. He's getting measured for the with sunscreen and without sunscreen because they have both of those treatments on each side of their arm. So this is matched pairs. Okay, so when we use matched pairs, we get this equation right here for matched pairs. Now, if you notice, this is actually identical to the one sample t-test for a mean. The only difference really is that this mu is equal to zero. And we could know that from our hypothesis test. And we said that the, that the true um, mean of the differences is equal to zero. Now, if we go back to our Excel file, we could either consider this two samples where we're looking at the damage with sunscreen and the damage without sunscreen, or we can look at this as one sample 
by just considering the difference from those two sides. And I'll show you in R Commander how we can do both of those. Okay, so give me just a second. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And so we already did our checks. We checked normality. We've got a big enough sample size. So let's go ahead and just dive into the analysis. Uh, if you want to do these equations by hand, you can. Then you can come in here and you can determine what's x bar d, what's the sample standard deviation, um, what's the sample size. You can do all those things by hand. We've done it before though, so I'm just going to show um, how we do this with our software. Okay, so coming back here, let's go ahead and upload the data. I'm going to just import it from my Excel file. And I think I'll call this sunscreen. And I want to click OK. And I think it's in my downloads is where I put it. Wherever you save it, you can go pick it up. Oh, sorry. There we go. And I want the match pairs data. I want to click OK. And now let me click View Data Set. OK, and it's got all this. It's got my participants. It's got my damage with sunscreen. So my damage without sunscreen and it's got my difference. So what we can do, let's consider this as a two sample test. We'll go to statistics. Let's go to means and check this out. We've got a single sample t-test, but we also have a paired t-test available. Let's go and check that one out. Paired t-test. And now it asks me, okay, what do you want as your first variable and what do you want as your second? Well, we said that we think that the damage with sunscreen is less than that without the sunscreen. So we're going to pick the damage with sunscreen first, and then the without sunscreen a second, and then we'll go to options, and we want to say that the difference is less than zero. And we have a confidence interval of 95%. Okay, so all we got to do now is click OK. And we come down here and we can see, okay, we have this paired t-test, we have a t-score, remember this is the number of standard deviations away from the hypothesized mean. So the hypothesized mean was the difference was zero, and we're really far away from that. And we see that the mean of the differences was estimated to be negative 4.487. Now you might have a question, it's like, wait a second, I didn't think that we could have a negative number when we're talking about the damage, we didn't measure like negative damage, that, you know, the sunscreen all of a sudden made your, or the... The sun all of a sudden made your skin better. This is just the difference between how much less damage we got on the sunscreen part of our arm versus the sunscreened part of our arm. Okay, and then we've got our confidence interval, and we could write a conclusion right from here. And we've got our p-value over here too. It's extremely small, so we have extremely significant data. Well, let me show this again how we could do this as a one sample test. So instead of considering these as two samples, you know, with the sunscreen and without the sunscreen, let's just consider it as the difference of the sunscreen. So we can go to statistics, means, single sample t, and this time let's just do difference. And we're going to do less than. We're going to set the mean as equal to zero and confidence level is 95 and click OK. And we come in here and check it out. It's like exactly the same. We've got the same t-score, we've got the same p-value, we've got the same confidence interval, and we got the same mean. So a, a match pairs test is kind of one of these weird hybrids where you could consider it as a one-sample test, or you can consider it as a two-sample dependent test. Both of them are completely fine to do. Okay, so now that we've got our data, Let's go ahead and let's write out a conclusion. Okay, so we can say that Greg collected sufficient data, and then we can say that alpha equals 0 0.05, and then p-value equals, and then I'm just going to round it, 0 0.24 spots, it's very small, to reject the claim. that the damage incurred uh, from the sun, oh, sorry, I need to say that the true mean, true mean, uh, okay, true mean difference, Oops, sorry. In damage incurred 
from the sun between, or we'll say comparing, with sunscreen to without is this is the same and conclude that the amount of damage incurred on the sunscreen screen part of the arm is in fact less okay so that's our conclusion now we need to go ahead and write out our confidence interval so we can say Greg is 95 percent confident that the true mean difference between uh, beachgoers beachgoers arm I will say part of the arm that had sunscreen as compared to the part that did not was greater than we'll say 4.49 damage points with the sunscreen all right with the sunscreen sunscreen part of the arm incurring less damage okay I apologize about the spelling uh, but it is pretty much there so once more let's read the conclusions and the confidence interval so Greg collected sufficient data uh, to reject the claim that the true mean difference in damage occurred from the sun comparing to the sun to with the sunscreen to uh, to without is the same and conclude that the amount of damage incurred on the sunscreen part of the arm is in fact less we can say Greg is 95 percent confident that the true mean difference um, between the beachgoers part of the arm that had sunscreen as compared to the part of the arm uh, that did not was greater than 4.9 damage points with the sunscreen part of the arm incurring less damage so, hope that that helps you out, and good luck on your match pairs testing.